Good morning everyone! <laughs> I just got back from Daisy's. <clears throat> I'm a little bit croaky. I am actually filming with my mum today for something for her work. So it's not going to be a very exciting vlog today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send you over to my mammoth his and hers gift guide that I filmed the other day and leave you with that. If you're still struggling with finding presents, I got you. Okay guys, this one is a biggie. This is my his and hers Christmas gift guide or as I would like to call it what I'd like to buy myself and what I'd buy Steve for Christmas. I'm gonna start with the girls ones first. These aren't necessarily girls, this is just what I would give to my mum, my auntie, my best friends, or myself if I was buying for myself, but just things that I would like. My first item is, it's called The Little Black Book, and it's a toolkit for working women. It's a super inspiring book, it interviews different successful women in the creative industries and gives you that little bit of a pick-me-up that you might need especially coming to the end of the year you might be feeling a little bit less motivated in your job especially if you've got friends that are freelancers i think it's a really really nice book to give it's only five pounds i think you can get it in some places for four pounds but i picked it up in urban outfitters for five pounds i think also because it's so little i think it's a great book to give that you'll know someone can read and then you guys can discuss it together so yeah yeah, this is a winner. My next item is another kind of female empowerment inspired present. It is by a group of women called the Meringue Girls who make meringues. I've actually featured this t-shirt before but when I was thinking about the gift guide I thought that it would be a really nice present to give someone as well. I have the t-shirt if you haven't seen it before. I've got the t-shirt that says you can sit with us and they basically do a range, as well as making amazing meringues, they do a couple of t-shirts and gifts that you can buy on their website. And it's all about kind of like women supporting women and that whole ethos of not putting other women down because they're successful or because of their successes and kind of like that whole we should support each other kind of vibe. And I really like it, I think they're really cool and I really like the designs. All the t-shirts are also made out of ethically sourced cotton and I think that's a really nice thing as well. You know where the t-shirt's from. I mean, they still have this one on the website. I think it's about £30, but also 10% also goes to a women's charity, which I really like. And then they brought out a new one for Christmas. It's got like a little neon heart and it says, girls support girls. If I got that as a present from one of my friends, I'd really like it, because it's kind of like, hey, we're in a little girl gang. I thought I'd include it, just in case you guys hadn't seen it, because I think it's a really cute t-shirt. The next one is something that I thought would be a cute alternative to giving someone a picture frame. Found these Firefly clip lights, which are a string of like LED lights and then they've got little clear pegs on them. You can clip like little Polaroids or little notes to your friend on the peg. Also, instead of just one photo in a photo frame, you can do like multiple little memories with that person. And I think that's such a sweet thing to kind of end the year by giving your friend all the memories that you shared together that year. My next item is a really small item. It is by a group of illustrators who I think are in America and they're called People I've Loved. I have followed them on Instagram for a very long time and when I was in LA I managed to pick up one of their pins and basically it's a little pin and it says the little cross fingers things will work out and I think it's like a really nice like positive thing to give someone, especially maybe if they've had a not great year or they're feeling slightly down. I think it's just a nice little pick me up and a little reminder and whenever I wear it I'm like yeah actually things will work out whatever happens. You know you buy something special to wear over the Christmas season and I was thinking of like something instead of like a piece of clothing, something else you could give to someone. When Steve and I got married on our wedding day I wore in the back of my hair a, it was like a hanging, so basically it had like two combs on either side and then it went went in, in my hair at the back and then it kind of hung at the back and I got that from ASOS and it cost me £10 and at the time I was super pleased because I was looking at loads of really really expensive kind of like bridal hair accessories so then when I was thinking about things that you could give your friends I went on ASOS again and was looking at kind of like hair ornaments and I found a couple that I really liked so the first one is like a barrette clip and it is it's almost like a bit of gold ribbon I think it's about £6 which I think is a really really nice present the next one it is a comb with two flowers flowers and then like a string of diamantes. Look how cute that is! It's something that's a little bit different to just giving someone a bit of jewellery or a top for Christmas. 
My next item is a candle. I did say in my last gift guide that I will be putting a candle in here. This one is by an English brand called Plum and Ashby. I actually went to an event last week where they had all of their products and all of their products smell amazing. And they're all made in the UK, which I really like. I picked up their Recover candle and it's the smell is herbs and hawthorn and also I picked up their hand soap which is samphire and seaweed and literally every time I wash my hands I'm like, oh, it smells amazing! But they do these really cute little candles that almost look like, I don't know, like a jar of moisturiser. And I feel like if you've got a friend that maybe has had a little bit of a stressful time running up to Christmas, or just a stressful year in general, I thought it would be a really nice thing to give them. My next item is um, a slightly more personal item and a slightly more expensive item than the other ones that I featured. At an event I went to this week, there was a brand called Posh Totti Designs, and they make these amazing jewelry pieces out of silver and gold, and they're really simple designs, and they're not too flashy, but they're really, really unique. This one that I picked up is their mini circle, and it's got my name stamped on it, if you guys can see. They do loads of different ones, so they do one that I really like, which is like a circle, and then it's a circle of hands, and it looks like it's giving you a hug, but basically on all their designs, you can customize them with your name, with a date, just a really sweet unique present and not too flashy, like it's all really simple designs, really sleek. I like the fact that they're a smaller company and that you, yeah, they're, you're supporting a smaller company. My next item is a super warm one. I wanted to find something that was a little bit alternative from a scarf or a woolly hat and I found this. A fluffy headband, it's so cute. I'm gonna put it on right. It is like a turban style headband. If you've got slightly longer hair and you put it over the top, it's really nice. Also, it's really warm, like it's really thick and also it's quite a neutral colour, so I feel like it would suit most people or most skin tones. It's by a brand called Pieces, but I found it on ASOS. I'll put the link obviously down below. And I just think it's a really sweet little fluffy present. Okay, my next two items are fluffy ones as well. These I actually asked for Christmas last year and then when I was thinking about my gift guide this year I was like I should definitely include these because they're so cute! They are a pair of slippers that look like this and they are sheepskin so they're sheepskin on the inside as well which makes them super super fluffy. They are from a website called Truva which is like not on the high street but slightly more curated so still like independent boutiques and some of the stuff on there is so nice you wouldn't be able to find anything like that anywhere else on the internet unless you really really searched on Etsy so these are traditional Polish slippers and they're handmade and the really cool thing about them is when you order a pair there's four colors on the website it's the luck of the draw what color you get and I think that's a really really like sweet thing all of the designs look like this. You'll get a pair of slippers that look like this. They might just be a different colour. I got the brown ones and then with the multicoloured stitching on the front and I think they're just a really toasty warm thing to give someone for Christmas. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the girls section of this gift guide or my section of the gift guide. I'm now going to head on over to all the things that I would buy for Steve for Christmas. He's already seen these things so I'll have to think of new ones. Okay so my first item is actually a mug classic mug, but it's a mug with the handle of dreams. So these mugs are made by a company called Anderson. You can find them on Mox in London's website. They create mugs, one, they're like a mat on the outside and then they're glazed on the inside, which makes them really nice to drink out of. Each mug, they're all like kind of different shades of grey and each mug has like a geometric handle. And I just think it's a bit more interesting than just giving a mug. Also what I quite like to do is like put a drink inside the mug, so like some hot chocolate or like like some mini marshmallows and then give that to the person so it makes it more than just a mug but I think it's a really cute little present especially if someone could take that to work or just have in their flat I think it's really sweet so staying on the kind of drinks theme on not on the high street there is a maker on there called Becky Broom and she does really cool kind of like engraved items so like wine glasses they do like, I think she does like copper mugs, teapots, vases, you name it, she can engrave it. And they're really, really nice kind of modern designs. This is a personalized cafetiere. One, it's copper, which is awesome. And two, it's got a little SB at the bottom. 
it's a really, really nice cafetiere as well, and I just think that that's a really nice present to give someone if they drink a lot of coffee. Or you could be really nice and give it to them with the mug, or with coffee beans. Also, if you've had friends that got married, you could also get them this and then personalise it. Pretty versatile present. So, my next item is a cute cup. If you followed me in Vlogtober, Steve and I went up to uh, Sloan Square and we went to a coffee place there and they were selling the keep cups with the coffee shops branding on them. And what was really cool is you could buy a cup of coffee and then you get the cup of coffee free, but you bought, obviously bought the keep cup and then you could take, so we got the six ounce ones, which is your kind of classic flat white six ounce. And they're really, really good. However, I feel like if you are giving it to someone who drinks something other than flat whites or drinks other things, I feel like it's not a very versatile keep cup. However, this one is their medium one, which is 12 ounce, and also it's glass, which I think looks a little bit nicer. One, because you can see what you're drinking inside, but this one's really nice. They come in all different colors. Also encouraging people to not use non-reusable cups. So this is a winner. My next item is actually a book. When I found this book, I was like, this is the perfect book to give a brother, a cousin, or someone that's just moved into a new place. It's like a coffee table book. It is Photos That Change the World. I think there are some amazing photos in this book, and especially if someone's into photography, it's just a really, really cool photo, because some of them aren't even, they were just like spur of the moment taken, and it tells the story behind them, and I love that, the fact that a photo, one, can explain like a moment in time in history, and two, it might not have even been a photo that was supposed to be taken on purpose, it was by accident and became a really famous photo. So yeah, I really like that, it's 15 pounds. My next item is actually a book that is by that Australian My Goals brand. It's not your average notebook, it's more than that. And I kind of like the fact that you're giving someone a book with purpose instead of just, here's a notebook and fill it with whatever you want. This one is My Goals and basically you write down your goals and then ways to achieve them. And I think at this time of year when people are starting to think of the new year and what they're gonna do, especially as people have got more time around Christmas, I just think it would be a really nice book to give. So my next item is a bit of a special one. This is a fragrance that actually we've had for a while and when I was thinking about this gift list, I wanted to put something in this category that was a really special present to give, but it wasn't jewelry because some people don't like jewelry. It wasn't a beauty product like moisturizer because I don't think that's that exciting. But this is really nice. So this is by a company called Clean Reserve and they make fragrances, not generally just men. Um, they are universal fragrances for anyone. And we have the fragrance Smoke Vetiver. Um, which is kind of like a woody smell, but not crazy smoky, which I really like. And it comes in a really awesome bottle, it has a wooden top, which is awesome. And there is a lot of fragrance in here. So we've had this um, just over six months, I think, and both of us use it. One, it's great because if you're buying it for your boyfriend and you really like the smell, you can also use it if they let you. But two, it's not too in any direction, so it's just a really nice, subtle fragrance, and I really like that, it's not too overpowering. The actual fragrance brand, they design their fragrances so you could actually layer them on top, so you could get another one of their fragrances and put that on top of this one, which I think is a really interesting concept. We literally just have this one, but I'd be really interested if anyone has any other fragrances and they've layered them. So yeah, I just thought it was a really nice, kind of like slightly more special present. It would look really nice on top of a Chester Ross too. So that is the end of my Mammoth His and Hers gift guide. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas on what kind of presents to buy your friends and family this Christmas. I have loved putting it together and if it's given you any help whatsoever, my job here is done. Happy Christmas to everyone, happy holidays, happy whatever you're celebrating at this time of year and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye!